Well, college readiness is a big concern the State Board of Education is focusing on for high schoolers. The state's implementing multiple diploma endorsement options for students starting this upcoming school year. Our Quentin Smith speaks with school leaders in Lowndes County about these changes. He joins us live in the studio with more. Hey, Quentin. Yes, yeah, Scott. Students now must have at least 24 credit hours before they can graduate high school. That's three credit hours more than what was required in the past. Students can also earn academic or career and technical endorsements along with their traditional diploma. Now, I want to point out these changes will start with incoming freshmen entering high school this fall. School leaders here in Lowndes County say they believe these changes will help ensure students are ready for college by the end of their senior year. Well, the diploma endorsement options are just really giving the students a way to track where they want to go as they progress through high school. When the bells ring to begin the 2018-2019 school year, hallways all across the state will be filled with incoming freshmen. However, those freshmen will now have new requirements they must complete before they can graduate. The basic is the traditional, and that is uh, 24 credits. Right now, we currently require 26 credits, so the 24s is a, is a bit of a drop there for all of our students. Um, but then they can pick the three endorsement, the career technical endorsement, the academic endorsement, and the distinguished academic endorsement. Students will be required to take four units of math and English, three and a half units of social studies, and a year of computer science or technology. Also under these new guidelines, students are required to take a year-long college and readiness course. Lowndes County Deputy Superintendent Dr. Robin Ballard says the incoming freshmen will also have diploma endorsement options to choose from, including a career and technical endorsement. Well, that's uh, 26 credits, and um, they have to have as a 19 in math and a 17 in English on the ACT, and have to score a silver on the work keys test. An academic endorsement. The State Department requires 26 credits for that. Our counselors and uh, administrators chose to go with 27 credits. Also has a 2.5 GPA, the same ACT requirements, um, and they have to have a C in a dual enrollment class. And a distinguished academic endorsement. That's the high one. That's 28 credits and um, has to have a 3.0 GPA, an 18 in English, and a 22 in math on the ACT. And um, they have to have a B in a dual enrollment class or a B in an AP test with taking the exam. Ballard says if a student starts out enrolled in one endorsement option but then wants to switch to another, they can do so, but only with their parents' permission. Now, students with disabilities will be eligible for an alternate diploma. For more information about these changes, just visit our website at WC.